Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I want to talk about you know, making New Year's goals. Now, apparently Jordan says, oh, first off, I just want to tell everybody why I even do that. Why do I say I says or said? I don't know. I do not know. Anyway, so it got me to thinking. Folks always make New Year goals. And some of the goals are so unlifelike that they can't keep them. Now for some it might be, you know, cutting back on how much they smoke or stop smoking at all. Others it might be, you know, loot, you know, eating right or working out right. Others it might be working on getting on their uh, on their moods. So yeah. But then there's always gonna be someone who well no matter what kind of New Year goal it is, if it's one it's too hard that you ain't gonna meet, then you're gonna am up not doing it. Now, I don't know where this New Year goal came from or why folks started doing it. But, you know, and some folks make a big thing about seeing the ball, or whatever you want to call it, that French bard word, that Greek bard word, come down, you know, and say it's a new year. Well, that's their own business and good for them. But when it came to New Year goal, what if, you know, if you couldn't keep it, you had someone known as the New Year Goal Law Keepers. Someone that would come in and say that you were not in good standing if you couldn't keep that New Year Goal you made. So, it would be like this. You know? Yeah. You know... I've been working for the New Year Goal, the New Year Goal Law Wardens, I mean Law Keepers for some time. And you know there are a lot of folks that make a lot of unlifelike films. You know they make a lot of unlife, unlifelike goals I should say. And then they can't keep them. And then I gotta come in and I gotta do something about it. Yeah. Sure, because uh, we all know that the law, we all know about the law keepers, right? About the New York goal law keeper. Like, you know, that'd be my goal, you know, to, uh, I don't know. Like, stop picking my nose, because that would be one. And that's probably one that I'm, I'm going to probably flip on and not, and you know, I cannot keep. But that would be one that I would pick. Because it probably would be something I'd want to work on. But at the same time, it would be something that would be hard for me to pick. And then it would be like this. Well, you just picked your nose, right? Yeah. And it's not even the first, and in the first day, it's not even done yet. And you had to keep, you had to make a goal you know you couldn't keep. Well, now you're in a hang up. Yeah. Sure, but the truth is there aren't anyone like that, you know, the truth is there is no New Year goal law keepers like that, but in the old, the old English days, during the time of the, I guess the Angos, the Saxons, the Jooks, maybe even other Putod folk, Poddisk pod folk, if you made a New Year goal, and you may or make sure you meet it because the handicapping would not be that good. It isn't like now where someone might tell you, well, you didn't keep this goal. If you didn't keep it back then with the with, with all those folks, and it may have been the same thing with the Danes too, and all those other pod disc folk, um, the handicapping might be even worse than that. You said you weren't going to pick your nose. Yeah, well, you you picked your nose. So now me and you, 
we're going to have a fight now. Everybody's waiting, and me and you are going to have a fight. Why? Because you didn't pick, because you, you know, then you didn't keep your word. You gave us your word, you gave us an oath, you want to pick your nose. Ah, oh, grud. Yeah. So, yeah, I know that this is something that Natalie Tang may have made a film on a long time ago. But, hell, she's not making films anymore. And I thought, why not start the year off with, you know, this film. Now I know someone out there is going to say, Well, Jordan, aren't you frightened about the new oversight? Yes, but at the same time, the new oversight hasn't really done nothing yet. You know, they haven't really done anything. So, it is what it is. And I tell you right now, you better keep your goal not to pick your nose, bitch. Because if you do, I'm going to come after you. Yeah, you know me. I am going to keep my word not to be picking my nose. I don't want any more hang up from you. Yeah, that's right. Because you'd just be showing everyone you got shit for brains if you couldn't keep your goal. Yeah, that, that's, that's one. That is two times in one week I've had that told me. And it don't make me any more happy for doing it. For being called that. But anyway, yeah. We all know that. We all know that. <clears throat> and now let's get into another. F well, we all know that. So it is what it is. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you all later. Yeah. And of course, he had to be a motherfucker. Jordan said. He just had to say something. He just had to be a. A fucker by saying something like that. He did. He didn't have to call me shit for brains. We know that. 